Hi, I'm Alan Kelly. Today on the Toolbox, we're going to discuss hydraulic hose tightening and hydraulic fitting installation. So let's get to it. We want to go over some of the tools that are required. Uh, for this particular size fitting, we'll need a 13 16 wrench, a 7 8 wrench, and a 15 16 wrench. Some grease, two different styles of fitting, flat face fitting, in this case, a straight connector and a 45 degree boss o-ring fitting. A aluminum block to represent a manifold or some piece that we're installing the fitting and hose into. A length of hose with a flat face crimp on coupler. And so let's go through it. One of the things I would like to first direct your attention to is the o-rings that go in a flat face o-ring coupler. What's important to know here is that these are not SAE O-rings. These are special O-rings for flat face fittings. If you use a SAE O-ring that'll fit in here, what'll happen is it won't seal completely. The oil pressure will cause the O-ring to blow out and you'll have a leak all over again. So it's very important that if you have a leak, you replace the O-ring on the fitting, but you replace it with the correct O-ring a flat face o-ring seal. Here on the block sitting on the top you can see uh, hopefully you can see the difference. On my right is a flat face o-ring and on the left is a conventional SAE o-ring. So you'll see how this sits flat and how this is raised up. This will prevent the fitting from completely compressing against the o-ring and have a face-to-face -face contact. So it's very important to use a flat face o-ring. Let's first talk about the installation of a boss o-ring fitting into a block, a manifold, a cylinder, what have you. First thing we want to do is put a little grease or a little bit of o-ring lube or even hydraulic oil around the base of the o-ring. What this does is allow the o-ring to slide down into the counter bore without cutting or tearing or rolling off the fitting. So now we've got some grease on it. We're going to go ahead and install this fitting. We'll run it down by hand and then you'll be able to see that the o-ring has gone into the tapered bore. So now we can just go ahead and tighten that fitting up. Okay. That's correctly seated o-ring fitting. Now the installation of the hose, we will install the fitting, or excuse me, install the o-ring on the fitting. Again, we're going to use some grease. We're going to install the o-ring into the fitting. and we're going to put a little more grease on the o-ring. We'll now take our hydraulic hose that is a flat face o-ring fitting and we will install it onto the coupler. We'll run it down by hand. We will then, using two wrenches, one to hold the base end of the fitting and one to tighten the coupler end. Let me get it nice and snug. Here you have a correctly installed flat face hose o-ring fitting installed to a manifold. Here we have a Boss o-ring 45 degree fitting the difference between it, other than the 45 degrees and the straight coupling fitting, which is also a Boss O-ring, is the locking nut on any type of 45 degree fitting, T fitting, 90 degree fitting, will all use a locking nut, so the tightening procedure is a little different. So let's get into that. We're going to do the same thing here as far as greasing up our O-ring.
We'll now install the fitting into the o into the block. And if you notice, there's a washer here. I want to run this lock nut up off that washer just a little bit. And I'll screw the fitting down into the block. What this lock nut allows me to do is clock the position of the fitting that I need this to point in. And then I'll, it'll allow me to lock it down and tighten it up. So let's say that this is the position I want this fitting in. I will now screw this nut down against that washer and tighten that lock nut. And now I go ahead and tighten that lock nut and that'll allow me to keep the fitting in the position that I had it aligned in. So that completes today's demonstration of hydraulic hose tightening and fitting installation. Please check back to the toolbox for more helpful content at snorkellist.com.